how to renew SSL certificate and update OCI load balancer. To renew the OCI, to renew the SSL certificate, we will we will use the third board, third board with renew flag, specify the web root location, specify the domain name, and then call the update script. How this is working? Here is the output of this command when we execute the renewal and then we calling the update script. What this is gonna do? It will renew the certificate and then run the update script. The update script is reading the configuration file where we configured the load balancer, the domain, the backend uh, in backend server listener protocol. We in that configuration file we configured all important information which is required to update the specific load balancer. Then we see the output from the update. We're waiting for the certificate to be added because the first step is to add the new certificate with today's date. Then once we have the certificate in place, we are updating the load balancer. After updating the load balancer, the process is deleting the old certificate to keep a configuration nice and clean. That once that command is completed and update is done, we are expecting to see the certificate with the current date, which is right now active certificate, and when we test the website, the website will have current certificate with plus 90 days. Let's see the website. We're going to reload our demo page and check the certificate. Now you see the certificate is valid from February 18 till May 19, which is the current certificate that the update is successful. Now, how this looks in the uh, Oracle Cloud. Okay, I log into my Oracle account, going to networking load balancers. Going to load balancer. This process is using the load balance managed certificate and we have just one certificate file with today's date when the script created the certificate. All right, now we see what we're expecting. Now let's see how we did this. Get the first script. I have let's encrypt the new SSL certificate, which that script is the command as I was showing you on the first slide, where we just calling the third bot with we force renew or you can renew. Uh, this way you can the script will be active at just at the time when uh, is the time for the renewal. And then we calling the update script. OCI load balancer Okay, let's see how let's see our update script. Okay, the update script is reading the configuration file. In configuration file, we need to create a line which will have the load balancer OSIT, domain name, backend listener, backend protocol, routing policy if used, and the load balancer host name as a JSON string. The JSON file, no, not the string. Okay, once you configure this file, 
then the process will read one load balancer at a time. So the script is prepared for multi load balancer, uh, multi configuration, not just one entry. It's gonna read each line and then execute the update OCI load balancer function. Now the update load balancer function is going to the uh, live let's encrypt folder and then execute uh, load balancer certificate create for this domain with today's date for the load balancer id which was read from the file and passing the private key and full chain this command will create the certificate entry once certificate entry is created that we're waiting here to validate if certificate is created we're going to update listener to update the listener we are passing the default backend set for this set port 443 protocol http load balancer id from the configuration file listener name SSL certificate name, which is our name which we creating in the previous step, and then host names, which are in the uh, in the JSON format. And then we force the update. After that, we waiting for process to complete. Once process is complete, we calling the delete non-use certificates. Now let's see the script which delete the certificates. Okay. To delete the certificate, again we are reading the configuration file. And then we defining what is my active certificate. After I define what is the active certificate, why I'm creating the list of the certificates and then I'm passing to through the loop and delete every non-active certificate. This way we, I keep the configuration clean only to the active certificate. Going back to the update SSL we required the we need to have the host name. Okay, what is the host name? The host names are put into the file root etc. Okay, and sample of the host name file is like this. But you need to creating that host name file to ensure your configuration is correct. This way you can protect the load balancer for only those requests for this domain. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you in the next chapter.